Welcome into Soda City Living. Today, we're giving baseball a swing. Here's a look at our lesson with the Columbia Fireflies hitting coach. It takes a lot of practice to be a firefly, and one really important part of being a baseball player, of course, is knowing how to hit. So joining us to talk all about it is hitting coach Ari Adut. Thanks for being with us. No, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes. So I understand you've been coaching for quite a while. Mm -hmm. How long? Uh, this will be my 10th season coaching overall in baseball. I started at a junior college in California called Los Angeles Valley College under Dave Malice. He's still the head coach there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I left there, went to the New York Yankees, was hired by Dylan Lawson, who was recently the big league hitting coach for the New York Yankees. Uh, and then I left the New York Yankees to go to Philadelphia under Jason Oshart, who's now with the Boston Red Sox. I was there for two years, and then now I'm here with the Kansas City Royals under Drew Saylor. What's your experience been like so far with the Fireflies? It's awesome. I mean, we're competitive. We're in it every game, every um, throughout the whole season. It's been really good. So for the safety of my cameraman, he is behind the net, but we are very much in here and we've been practicing a little bit. So can you tell me, what is the best way to hold a baseball bat? Well, I don't have that exact answer, but I'll say whatever you're comfortable most with. So you play okay. golf, so grab it just like a golf club yep. and we'll go from there. All right. And then when it comes to hitting, is there a best spot that you want the ball to hit on the bat? Well, yeah. So. I'll use a reference for you. Uh, you were a golfer, so the club face, imagine it being right here. This okay. is the sweet spot of the bat. All right. And when it comes to, I mean, usually baseball players are not playing with a tee, mm -hmm. but is there a best place to kind of position myself? Um, no, it just depends what you're doing. I mean, to be honest with you, this isn't a tool we use often. Yeah. So it's feel free. <laughs> Put it where you're ever most comfortable and give it a rip and we'll okay. start from there. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's try. Is this a good? Yep, starting from that position's awesome. Okay. All, All right. right, they're hitting the ground. Is there a reason why they're doing you're that? You're just hitting the top of them, so imagine okay. you're thinning it. Uh -huh. You wanna get under, give it a little more loft. Gotcha. Boom, Ooh, there you go, you loft. can aim for those targets. That's all right. <laughs> if you hit one of those targets, you're pretty optimal. Those are about like 20 degrees from home plate. Okay, gotcha. And you were telling me, which I thought was very interesting, you don't hit very often anymore. No. Why is that? I just, I mean, it's, <laughs> like I said, it's just like the, the player sanctuary. So I just kind of leave it open to them. It's not about me, it's their space. Mm -hmm. And they, of course they want me to like hit or something. I'll jump in every blue moon, but it's very rare. Yeah. You know, the time is very like efficient. We try to be very efficient with the timing and stuff. And I want it to be about them and not about me. Yeah, so when a player is in here hitting, are you watching? Where where are you? And yeah, are so you it just doing? depends. Uh, like sometimes we're the ones throwing, sometimes we're the ones watching. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times we're the ones throwing, but we have uh, you know video in the background, like an iPad that's showing them their own swing, so they can go watch and watch the replay. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. or we'll put it on the TV. We'll sometimes have uh, the picture video on the TV. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of consider this like I try to create the environment so they can just like feel like safe, open. They can do whatever they want. The music's extremely loud all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Every type of genre you can imagine, from Taylor Swift to Dembo, which is Dominican rap. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's variety country. I mean, but it's they come in, they come in, they get their work, and then we go about it. We kind of schedule it, and they, they're ready to roll. So when someone comes in here to practice, mm -hmm. are there any things that you look for to maybe tweak about their, their hitting? Yeah, so everyone has their own like individualization within it. Mm -hmm. um, we don't necessarily, I think my approach is, I, like I said, I take the holistic view. So like look at what's happening in the game, visually mm -hmm. use the numbers and then see how it compi uh, compiles to their, uh, their, their way they practice, the way they prepare. So if a certain person wants to work on something specific, so for you, right, right now you are basically just using your hands and throwing the ball, hitting the ball as your hands, not using your lower half, right? right. So something I would just tell someone right now is like, all right, well, let's get some motion going. So like you could like start back which might take a little coordination, so yeah. good luck, but you kind of just walk through it and just use your whole body and like swing. You know, like wow. that, that'd be something to like pair to use your whole body all in one, not just your upper body. Okay, yeah, so it really is a well-rounded lesson and you know, making sure everything works together. Yeah, sometimes the best coaching is no coaching at all, honestly. We just yeah. kind of like let the environment create the coaching more than anything. That's like always my goal. All right, well, thanks so much for this lesson. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way to becoming an expert. Maybe put me on the team someday. Yeah, you can throw out the first pitch. Just have you <laughs> yes. throw out the first, we'll start. But yeah, we'll start there. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Appreciate it.